What you want, boo? What you want to eat? What you want, daddy? <laughs> This your girl Joy and Mommy. Mm -hmm. Now he's probably texting his wife asking what he's gonna have for dinner. Mm -hmm. That is what it's giving. What? Like very um old timey gender roles, suburban household. Mm -hmm. And He's some people, the there's winner. nothing wrong with, you know, the wife having her role, man having his role. If it works for you, like me, I ain't trying to judge nobody. You ain't hurting anybody. If that's what works for y'all, then go for it. I guess I feel as though I don't mind that role if the man is on his, is on his game. You know what I'm saying? We all have our roles. If you on your, or if you on yours, and you taking care of family, you doing what you supposed to do. I got you. What you want, boo? What you want to eat? What you want, daddy? <laughs> um, I'm very, I'm very much, you know, do what works for you. Yeah. But me personally. Mm -hmm. Me personally, mm -hmm. for myself, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would also, I wouldn't want the man to be the sole breadwinner. And I'm like, I want to also be, you know, the breadwinner in the household. Yes. And if I make more money, I'll make more money. Yeah. Now, I will say, I did an activity at school. Were you on the phone? Yes. And we were having a conversation in a previous video about gender roles. And I'm like, you know, if you're doing what you're supposed to do as a man, you ain't sitting home doing nothing. I, 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 mm -mm. Now, if you lost your job or something and you looking, that's something different. I'm just saying, you just ain't trying. You ain't about nothing. You ain't doing nothing. I work all day. I come home. You still in the same spot. Ain't, ain't done nothing waiting for me to come home and cook. Absolutely not. Are you not bedridden or quadriplegic or something? No, absolutely not. Even if you're a quad, this stuff you could do. Shoot, you can. You know. So anyway, we were saying I did an activity at school, and it was a summative. Mm -hmm, where are you going now? You mm -hmm. unless he works at the Macy's uh, furniture store. Mm, I like his little haircut though. Oh, that's spitting out. See, you know you're breasting. That's why you keep spitting. It's a whole other video, Mom. They don't uh, know oh, what we're talking sorry. about. You know, they know I'll be looking at people while I'm in the car. I wonder what mm, his breath. Mm -mm. I hate spitting. It's, it's, it's just spit. Uh, I don't know. I don't get the spitting day. Mm -mm. So gross. Maybe he came out of that furniture store. Maybe he went to the bank to get some coin to go. Christmas shopping and now he's going back to the furniture, furniture gallery. gallery. It's the Macy's furniture anyway, gallery. I did this activity. It was their major project, which the kids, I don't think they under, understand the concept of research. It didn't go that well. It's, you know, So they were researching things that they would want to do in the future and you want to have, if this is your goal right here, that's your goal. What are the steps you have to take to get to the, here? So that could be from your education, um, internships. They were supposed to research it thoroughly, which I guess that's a skill that they need to learn. It just and so I had I put Bobby on the phone, Facetime, so she could talk to the kids about you know how to be successful in school and she talked about the habits that you create now the habits you're going to take with you to high school and blah 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 you know i wanted them to hear from someone who's been successful in um the academic arena and then one girl she was like i was like so what do you want to be she said oh i just want to be a stay-at-home mom which is not wrong with that if that's what you want to do and i kind of lost 
lost it a little. I did. Were you there? Did you hear? Mm -hmm. And I and I was so passionate about it. I almost I almost started crying. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. But I'm going to let you know that there are no guarantees that when the man may or may not, it may be wonderful. And for a lot of people in the old school arena, it has worked out for many people. It has. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm not saying it doesn't. But we're in a different age now. And we're in a world of instant gratification. And sometimes people, not everybody, oh my gosh, not everybody. Um, and for the newer generation, that if something doesn't work out, they'd be like, peace. So you decide to graduate high school, whatever, and you want to become a stay-at-home mom. That That is your goal for your life, which, which is not wrong with that. If that's what you want to do. And I kind of told her, tried to help her also understand that if that man gets tired of you and it's been 10, 15 years later and things no longer work out, you put your life on hold, which is nothing wrong with that. But then you're not as marketable if you continue to hone your skill, work at a career. You're, you're no longer as marketable. And if you have relied on that man for 10, 15, 20, 30 years and y'all break up, what do you have? And he decides to leave and he's not a millionaire. What you got to fall back on? It's okay to be a stay-at-home mom, but make sure you have your own bag. Make sure you still have a career, something. Still go to school, have whatever. You're still building things. So if homeboy decides to go, you're all right. And my mom always said, the left hand does not always need to know what the right hand is doing. So, okay, you working. Being a parent is one of the hardest jobs ever. So when there's a little extra coin and stuff, yes, honey, I'm taking that. I'm going shopping. I'm, I'm going to use this for whatever. And you have a little stash. So just in case, like a rainy day fund. And I fell into that trap as well. But I had an education. I had experience. I had other things behind me that was very helpful. So it's like, I didn't drop my bag altogether. No, I had stuff in my back pocket. And it's something I preached up. Both my girls, no. I said, absolutely not. You won't be no stay-at-home mom. Mm-mm, no. And, and, and then they've seen what I went through, what I had to overcome, what I had to climb out. Absolutely. I mean, if that's what y'all want to do, that's your life. Go ahead. But that's not what... I would instill in my children. My girls need to be able to take care of themselves. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I I personally wouldn't. It's just not. I don't know. I feel like I'll be. I've always been very like driven in what I'm doing. So right now it's academically and athletically, but. Once I'm done, it'll just become something else. And I feel like I'll be very career driven. Mm -hmm. um, but also obviously like family driven and things outside of that. But I think if someone's in a situation where they are a stay-at-home mom and like that's someone's agreement, you know, good for them. But make sure you have a solid lawyer uh, make up that prenup just in case as well because there are like that's some people's security too but um is having a prenup in that kind of situation a lot of people don't like to have prenups because that's kind of giving the idea that one day in the future that will our relationship isn't going to work out mm -hmm. um i don't know i feel like there's also that of like stay-at-home moms like are very prevalent but i'd say mm -hmm. or even just a stay-at-home wife a stay-at-home wife those are also thing that's also a thing but yeah i did that for a while have a prenup i did that for a while i mean it was nothing to prenup <laughs> prenup is very like he's got money like family's got money because in the instance of like y'all breaking apart or getting a divorce 
you have that security of like, I just lived my life for you. And now I have nothing because that was our agreement. So that's why we have a prenup to where I get this, you split up the assets, I get this amount of money, I get this. You get this house and that house. Yeah, so that's, that's a very more serious, like far right mm -hmm. um, situation. But I don't know, I think in a more, um, you know, a step down from that. I would just agree to have I don't know I always think you should have something like you're mm -hmm. living your life for the other person mm -hmm. um in the sense if you don't have kids like if you're a stay-at-home wife you're living your life for that person but then if you have kids like obviously you're doing it people do it for their kids yeah. but you would always want something of your own even if it was like I knew somebody I think I had saw it and like she was just bored so like she worked at like let's just say like chick-fil-a like five, four times a week just to get out of the house to do something mm -hmm. do you you know we actually met you know it was that lady driving back from school and we met her and we talked to her for like an hour yeah and she had her own business but she was like i get so bored so like i come and work at chick-fil-a mm -hmm. like she doesn't need to but it's like something of her own mm -hmm. so yeah. so what are your thoughts on it i mean for my girls it's not something i would support or I'll be support girl, okay? He gets paid here, there, there. We're putting that away. And you can tell him too, I'm putting this away. It is a rainy day fund as a woman. Um, I'm taking care of X, Y, and Z. It's not like I get a paycheck, so I'll be putting this away just for me. It, yeah. it could be a conversation, keep it in his face. And if he's a supportive, if yeah. he's the right man, he wouldn't have an issue with it. Yeah. But I yeah. think... It, I'm a very firm believer in people can do what is best for them and what works for them. Because at the end of the day, like somebody else's problem is not my problem or like mm -hmm. somebody else's like their situation in life is not my situation. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I need to work on fixing my face a lot. How did you look? What did you do? I was like, <laughs> I'm so bad. I have a really bad RBF. People say they like meet me for the first time, and they're like, "Dang, she looks scary. She looks intimidating." I've actually had that before. It's like people judge me or think I'm conceited. You know, I like to play dress up or think I'm conceited or think I have this. No, what you gotta do? look at me we have a full conversation just like the man putting the meat away we had a full conversation yeah i was like what do you do that was that was my number three it doesn't how it, is that your number three it doesn't necessarily have to be a comp it could be a smile well, we didn't say that oh well it could be a smile it could be a conversation how many people gonna go up there black like, he was putting the meat away in a grocery store i was like i looked down i was like you finish all, all your christmas shopping he was like no he said how about you i said mm, i ain't even start i said but i'm doing something all year it's the all year gosh i said she grown now he's like yeah she told I'm like, yeah she told i said but it's all year he said yeah that's nice that's nice at least it's just not that one 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 time out of the year i said no no i said i'm doing something all year it may not be big but it's something right i said it's all year it's just not the one day he's like okay and then we just started talking here and there that could have made his stay. I think so. You never but know. But so you still have one more. No. Because yeah, and I said I want you to have a, a wonderful, a wonderful Christmas. No, it was still a compliment. We had a conversation. It wasn't. Hey, excuse me. No, it was a full-fledged conversation. That should count. It wasn't just no, you know. Oh, you know. Roll the tape back. We said compliments. That was Let's a see. very nice conversation. I'm not taking that away from you. But you still have one more. No. Based on technicality. Based on technicality. And there's nothing wrong with giving one more. There's nothing wrong with that. But we're about to go back to the house. No, I need to go get my eyebrows done. Oh, you want to get your eyebrows done? You didn't tell me that. Don't have them take off too much. 
No, I don't tell. I just feel like clean up the around the edges. Cause she got some pretty thick eyebrows. She They're needs growing to, wild. My eyebrows need some gel. They're running You need to wild. tie your eyebrows down. They're running wild. You need a comb set just for your eyebrows. I do. You need to make, spray some got to be glued up on my eyebrows. They nice and thick and fluffy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's just jealous. No, I'm letting my eyebrow, bro. Can't you tell? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm letting my grow. I didn't. I didn't know they could grow. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up or not, because you're gonna do 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 what works best for you. Okay, per per it's per. Oh, and when a lady. What's her name, Alicia? I think her name was Alicia. And we was clogging up grocery store traffic because <laughs> we started talking. And it started off, she was like, oh, your braids are real pretty. I was like, girl, it ain't done in the back. You see my little braids sticking out? <laughs> and we just, and she was beautiful, too. She was very pretty. Her skin was mm -hmm. gorgeous. And then we just started talking. Um, she's an educator. I was like, oh, and I said, you know, I just fell in love. I taught seventh grade, eighth grade, and I said, I had my first taste of sixth grade. I just love sixth grade. I said, I'll probably love fifth grade too. And I said, our personalities just match. We just have, you know, fun. And it's like with sixth grade, they're not trying to be, um, you know, cute and be like serious. Nope. They go all in. Those are my dogs, even when they be working my nerves sometimes. I just love them to pieces. I am so glad that in my teaching career so far that I have found a grade that I love and enjoy immensely. And I mean, it's just a pure love.